like to urge you all this morning to think about what quality of education you're getting inside this institution. Do they teach you that Jesus is Lord inside? We all know they don't. So what does that say about the quality of the foundation of the education that you're getting here, guys? I pray that you'll think about that today because Jesus in reality is Lord. And to learn about the universe, to learn about the world, to learn about human history outside of that ultimate foundation is just going to mess everything up and everything will fall into ruin and chaos. So I urge you to think about that today. Jesus Christ is Lord and he offers reconciliation with God. Just turn to him in repentance and faith today. Jesus Christ died on the cross to save sinners and rose again from the dead to give eternal life to those who will ask. That really happened, it's really true. If you study it, you'll find out. And the thing is, it's totally worth your while to do that because you're not guaranteed tomorrow. Nobody is. Nobody is guaranteed tomorrow. You might die today. I pray that you don't. But if you die today, you'll stand before God. Please think hard about that. Study up on Jesus Christ and Him crucified and risen again from the dead to save sinners. lady, I urge you to think today about Jesus Christ and his lordship. I urge you to think about how he is Lord and how he has given his life to save sinners today. He'll save you too if you ask him. Ask him in humility with a repentant heart and turn to him, place your faith in him to give you eternal life. Friend, if you're under the wrath of God today because of your sin, Jesus Christ can set you free. If you'll turn to Jesus Christ in repentance and faith, Place your trust in Jesus to save you. He will. He is kind and merciful, compassionate to the humble in heart. Morning, guys. I just wanted to ask you to think today about Jesus and his lordship, to consider how this school does not teach you that Jesus is Lord. They might teach you a few facts about Jesus, but they don't teach that he is Lord, which is true. It's the most foundationally true fact in the entire universe and the history of mankind. And if you study up on that, you'll find it's the truth. I pray that you'll think about that and think about how this institution does not, in fact, teach you those things. What does that mean about your education, the quality of education you're getting here? What does it mean about how much they care about your soul and about your eternal well-being? Jesus Christ will set you free from your sin. You don't have to live in bitterness, young lady. You don't have to live in sin either. Jesus Christ can save you. If you'll turn to him and repent, place your faith in him, and bow the knee to Jesus in submission, he is able to save those who call upon his name. Only Jesus Christ can save, guys. He's the king of the universe. I urge you to think about that. Ask yourself why it is that in this high school they don't teach you that Jesus is Lord and king of the universe. Why do you think that is? It's because they have another agenda, a different agenda. One that's not for your well-being. So I urge you to think about that today. Think about how Jesus is Lord. I urge you guys to think about Jesus and his lordship today. How Jesus is king to think about why this school does not teach you that Jesus is king, doesn't teach you anything about that kind of stuff, and what that means for your, uh, your life on this earth and your life in eternity, because you will exist forever, either in blessing, in bliss with Jesus, worshiping and serving him, worshiping and serving your neighbor for all eternity, or you will be in hell undergoing the wrath of God. And I pray that you will seek Jesus Christ while he may be found today. Jesus is worthy of all your service, guys. He is king. Are you like Mervin, uh, Mormon, or... No, no, just a Christian, man. Just love Jesus, yeah, absolutely. 
Yeah, did you get any of my stuff? Just the, you did? Okay, cool. Yeah, sweet, man. No, it's all good, man. It's all good. I, I love everybody, you know what I'm saying? God bless you. I love you. Guys, you start to consider Jesus' lordship today, the lordship of Jesus Christ, how he's king of the universe? No, I haven't. No? Well, you should. You should, because if you don't, he will come back someday, and he'll co you'll actually stand before him. You'll give an account, man. And because of your sin, you'll fall into condemnation. You'll go to hell, and I don't want that for you. Awesome. Now it'll suck. Turn to Jesus Christ. Bow the knee to him. He died on the cross to save sinners, filthy sinners like you, like me. You need to take your sin seriously, sir. Take your sin seriously and think about what it cost Jesus Christ to save sinners. It cost him his whole life. That actually happened in reality, in historical reality. He died on the cross. He rose again from the dead. He proclaimed that he is able to save sinners. Guys, I urge you to think about Jesus and his kingship today, how he's king of the universe, and what that means, what it means that the school doesn't teach you that Jesus is king, why that happens. I urge you to think hard about that. It really matters. We live in a culture that practices child sacrifice. I urge you today to think about Jesus and his lordship, to think about he is, how he is king of the universe, and ask yourself why it is that this school doesn't teach you that Jesus is King and Lord? Why don't they teach you that you that we live all in a holocaust of child sacrifice and what we should do about it? Think about that. You guys have power, you guys have potential to change the world, to preach the gospel, to see hearts change, to transform, to do what is good, and to turn away from evil. Jesus wants to use you to change this world and to make it a world full of people that respect his word and that love his law and that do what is good in his sight. And I pray that you'll be reconciled to God through Jesus Christ. He died on the cross to save sinners. He rose again from the dead to give eternal life to all who will ask him. Ask him today with a repentant heart to make you into a person that he wants you to be. Ask him today with a repentant heart to forgive your sin, to give you eternal life. He will. He died on the cross to save sinners. Deep down, we all know Jesus is king. We gotta ask ourselves why it is that this world, including this school, don't teach that Jesus is king. What does that mean for us? What does that mean for y'all? I pray you'll think about it today. Jesus wants to give you power to preach his gospel, to do what is good, to suffer for his name, and to love your neighbor. Why is it that we don't love our neighbor in this culture, friends? One of the reasons is because we're not brought up to do that. Here at this school, they can't teach you to love your neighbor well because they don't teach that Jesus is Lord here. They don't teach that we live in a holocaust of child sacrifice. They don't teach you the gospel inside, guys. So I urge you to think about that today. Ask yourself why it is that this institution lies to you about the Lordship of Jesus Christ, how they do not teach that Jesus is King, why that is, what motivations there might be for, this, uh, for the faculty and staff and the curriculum of Jenks High School not to teach the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Why do you think that is? Ask yourself why they purport to teach you the truth about, the, about reality, about the universe. They purport to teach you about human history, even. And they don't teach the agency of Jesus Christ, his fingers, his hand, on all events in human history, all throughout the course of time, weaving the fabric of time together for his own glory. Why don't they teach you that? It's because they live for something different than God's glory. Guys, I urge you to think about that today. You could be reconciled to God through Jesus Christ, crucified and risen again from the dead for sinners. Please think hard about that today. Your very soul is at stake. If you do not live for the glory of Jesus Christ and for the glory of God, not living the gospel, not, work, not working your life according to the law of God, then friends, you remain under the wrath of God. God wants to give you the new birth. God wants to cause you to be born again. God wants to give you forgiveness of your sin. Jesus Christ died to save sinners. He rose again from the dead to give eternal life to all who will ask him, guys. If you guys asked him to, to forgive your sin and to make you a slave of Jesus Christ, I pray that you'll think about that. Because if you have not turned to Jesus Christ in repentance and submission, then you're under the wrath of God. 
and you will go to hell when you stand before him today. Or not today necessarily, but whenever you stand before him, I pray that you'll turn to Jesus Christ today. Nobody is guaranteed tomorrow. Nobody is guaranteed another breath of life. Every breath of life, every second we live on this earth is a gift from God. And so do we take it for granted or do we give thanks to Jesus for what he has given us? Do we give gratitude to the king of the universe for having mercy on us and compassion and loving us? Ladies, I urge you to think about that today because your very soul is at stake. If you do not serve Jesus Christ, then you will stand before God on a certain day. You will give an account. You'll be found guilty. And I don't want that for anybody. I want you to have eternal life. I want you to know Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Can you turn that off? I want you to know. I want you to know what it is to be risen again from the dead. Man, we've already talked in it. Uh, you are not willing to submit no, your I, reasoning to the, to I the just scripture. I ask you a couple of questions. Okay, if they're brief, because I'd like to preach to the the people. What's up? Okay, you're making some of our kids feel uncomfortable. No, they should be uncomfortable. They should be terrified of the wrath of God. As no, should you. They're terrified of you. They should be terrified of God, not me. No, they're terrified of well, you. Well, that's just foolish. Well, it's true. Though. Okay, what's your next question? So. I just, I, I understand you have every right to be here. Okay. For the sake of you our students. You said a quick question. Your students need the gospel of Jesus Christ. Why don't you teach them the gospel inside well, and save me the trouble? Because I can that's go somewhere against else. the law. Okay, so you fear man rather than God. No, I Bonnie, you need to fear. Bonnie, you need to fear God, not man. Okay, I'm not Jesus gonna, commands I'm not you. I know because you'll lose every debate. You know it. That's why you asked me to shut up. So you just you need to go up. do something else, okay, Bonnie? I don't want to talk to you. I'd like you're, to talk to the gospel to the people. Yep, Ma'am, you have asked me to silence myself. No. You said I'm you won't follow you Jesus. Intimidate our students. I'm not intimidating anybody. I'm just standing you here are. on the same patch of grass. They have been, okay, they that's have ridiculous. been telling us that's that they ridiculous, feel intimidated Bonnie. by you. That's ridiculous. I'm just reporting to you Okay, what they any heard. other questions, Bonnie? You make it very difficult. To do what? Okay. Well, you're and supposed to love your kind. enemies. I am. I do. I What's weird them. is that you would make your God enemy you. a gospel preacher. God bless you, man. I mean, like, I'm not your enemy. Why? Why? Why have you chosen Jinx Public Schools? Because I love you. I love you. I want no, your people you to know the gospel. No, you don't. Well, you, just, you don't. You don't love me if you accuse me of such a thing. Ridiculous. Hey, friends, just out here proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. I just want to urge you to think hard about your eternity today. Nobody's guaranteed tomorrow. Nobody. We're not guaranteed our next breath at all. Any of us could stand before God at any moment. 